Hey guys, what's going on? Jared right here today, and I will be doing a review. I know that I'm starting to do a lot more of these, of these farm reviews here lately, and I am uh, hoping to be able to continue doing these guys as I can, as I continue to uh, really sort through my collection and really see what I got because I I have uh, kind of been going through a lot of these and cleaning them. And It's a Henry 22 lever action all the way across the board guys phenomenal gun nothing as far as a lever action rifle goes nothing shoots smoother than a Henry in my opinion guys I mean these things are phenomenal so what to do I use this particular gun for squirrel hunting for rabbits for for varmints for various things but what I love about their lever action models though too is that these are available in so many different calibers. 357, 44, 45. There's 410 lever actions that they make. I mean, they make any caliber that you can imagine in a lever action rifle. Henry makes it, guys. And I have a Henry Golden Boy as well, and I will show you guys that one in a different video. But they got a Cabela's. The first time I ever went to Cabela's, I was like, I saw a gun, loved it. For those of you who don't know what a Golden Boy is, in case you don't see the next video, a Golden Boy is section here is all gold. It's a gold plating. Obviously, it's not real. I mean, I wish it was, but like, but Henry makes so many different varieties and varieties. And they make so many different types of rifles guys I mean any anything you want I know I already said that but anything that you want you can get from Henry now they aren't cheap I will say that but you pay for the quality that you get in these guns again super smooth I mean it's very basic just like in the other videos I talk about all my rifles and pistols and stuff are very basic because the more basic you can keep them the less things that can go wrong with them and it's just better in my opinion but uh standard for those of you guys who don't know or maybe new to rifles every lever action i've ever dealt with loads right there of course you don't stick the shells in by the top i mean you can but actually on this 22 i don't know if you guys can see that or not but all of them also have this that slit right there so they could fall straight down straight down in there as you can see that shape perfectly for a 22 shell be able to feed them down in there your rod goes back in the end think about it kind of like a black powder if you guys like know anything about black powders you're seeing like the rods that's used to be able to push down black powder but you, in this case you can see there though too that the rod seals that back off to where your shells don't fall out if you're going like this or anything but yeah, guys, I know I'm not telling you a whole lot about these guns, but there's really not a lot to tell about these other than the fact that they're phenomenal weapons. Everything I own, with the exception of a few I love, from my flint locks to my hunting rifles to, to anything in between. I mean, I'm all, all my self-defense shotguns and pistols, guys. But hope you guys are doing good, and hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm not, I know I'm not giving you a lot of information. If you want to... If you want me to be more in depth, or if you have any questions, feel free to comment. That way, I can answer those for you. Because I know that there's, I could try to answer like a bunch of questions in this video, but I want to know what you guys, what your guys' questions are about anything I might own. I'll be happy to answer those for you. Just comment below, and I'll be able to get to you. And if I don't know, guys, I'm gonna tell you I don't know. I don't know everything. I mean. None of us know everything, and uh, but I will be more than glad to help you out or find an answer for you guys. I have friends who are much more knowledgeable than me, but I'm not the least knowledgeable guy, though, either, guys. So, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. I know the world's crazy right now.